Hmm. When James was getting a wash down, he, he heard something coming out of the bushes. What is that? Suddenly, out of nowhere, a deer jumped out of the bushes and jumped over James. Ah! James closed his eyes and the deer jumped right over him. Just joking. Deers don't jump. He w It went around him. Was that Rudolph the Rendo's reindeer? Then, Ari and Bert arrived. Ha! James, you should have saw your face. Yeah, you look like you got run over by a reindeer. What do you mean? You know, like that Christmas song. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Coming. To our house of Christmas Day. James did not understand what Ari and Bert were talking about. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about, silly diesels. Huh, says the red-nosed engine who got stung by a bee. <laughs> Ari and Bert laughed and laughed. And they oiled away. Oh! James was so cross that Ari and Bert teased them. He would not stop thinking about the time a bee stung him on the nose by burning it after he burned his foot. That one time. And he's been called James the Red-Nosed Engine ever since. Ugh. James got run over by a reindeer. Huh. How can I get run over by a reindeer? James puffed crossly away. To do his job. Which was a goods train. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, narrator. If you're gonna keep gassing and burping, maybe we should just stop the episode. James, I'm the director and the narrator of this movie. I will make the rules, not you. You're just the main character. I am the narrator and director. Maybe, maybe you should be put on the naughty list by Santa. Sorry. Anyway, continue with the story. James was supposed to take the goods train he was taking to the... to Nafford shunting yards. Then suddenly... Whoa! Screech! James slammed on his brakes. Whoa! Ah, oh, oh, not again. James crashed through an old set of bumpers and came off the tracks. <sighs> Ouch! Bust my buffers, rattle my rods! Oh, that deer! Luckily, no one was hurt. James's driver and fireman jumped clear before James crashed. Ouch. 
Ugh, this is the third. Ugh, how many accidents have I had so far? Like, this is like the 100th accident I had. Apart from the tar wagons accident, my wooden brake blocks accident, the time I came off the rails and into a snowy field. Yeah, this must be the 100,000th accident I've had. Count them, everyone out there. Count them, Thomas and fans out there. How many accidents have I had? James's driver found a telephone to call for help. And soon, Thomas arrived with Rocky to put James back on the tracks. And Sir Totten Hat was there too. He was cross. James! I already told you and the other engines to be careful because the tracks were slippery today. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, sir, but it wasn't my fault. It was because of a reindeer jumped out in front of me. And no, James, I don't want to hear your excuses. We're going to take you to the Steamworks, and you will stay in your sheds for two days. But then, suddenly the deer jumped out of the bushes and surprised Sir Top and Pat, Rocky, and Thomas. Wah! 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 Oh! My apologies, James. I thought you were joking. See, sir? Proved. I proved it. I did not made it up. A deer did jump out and scare me. That is a reindeer. Me, James the Red Engine, got run over by a reindeer. You mean got spooked by a reindeer, James? That is not a reindeer. That is just a deer. We don't have reindeer on Sodor. Reindeer only live in the North Pole. Oh. Who told you that? Uh, Ari and Bert, sir. You should not listen to a word Ari and Bert say, James. I'm thinking of scrapping those diesels. If they ever tease you engines again. I will have a word with them. And indeed he did. Now I can't tell you the exact words Sir Totten Hatt said to Ari and Bert because they were very inappropriate. It, in, it involves swearing and, and coarse language that are not for kids under the age of seven, six, five, four, three, two, or one. And James learned that reindeer don't live on Sodor. And he shouldn't listen to diesel engines ever again. But he'll always... Will be the shiniest red engine on Sodor. Ah! Scratch! Ugh, <laughs> oh, not again. Will he?